all right so good day everyone okay my name is Ajadi Abiodun I'm here again to give you um, some tips in solving questions under an aspect of physics called elasticity okay okay do you know that elasticity is actually the ability of an elastic material to regain or return to its original position or shape or size after being stretched or deformed by a force that's what we call elasticity okay and there is a particular law that governs elastic material and that law is what we call Hooke's law Hooke's law states that the force applied to an elastic material is directly proportional to its extension provided that elastic limit is not exceeded so that Hooke's law is the one that gave us the first equation I wrote there, that is F is equal to KE, where F is the force, E is the extension, and K is called the spring constant, or you call it elastic constant, you can call it force constant, you can call it kinetic constant, okay? And then the second equation there is equation for um, young modulus which is equal to FL over AE, okay? Normally, young wood loss is always equal to tensile stress over tensile strain, okay? And strain is E over L, stress is F over A. So when you substitute that in the equation, you have the equation I wrote there. And the last one is the energy stored in an elastic material. The energy stored in an elastic material is always equals to half fe because we believe that um the total amount of energy stored in an in a particular material cannot be exhausted so what we believe is that the maximum you can use is average and that is why energy stored in an elastic material is equal to f half fe or you say half k e squared all right um the graph below there shows um the behavior of elastic material when force is being applied on them okay so when you apply, apply force on an elastic material it exhibits extension okay and then when you continue applying the force it will get to a point and that point is what we call elastic point or elastic limit at that point when if another force is being applied on that elastic material or when any amount of force is applied to that material is going to move to its yield point okay and when you continue applying force to that material it moves to its maximum point at that maximum point when any force is applied to that material is going to break okay so it will move to its breaking point or you say the plastic the plastic point okay so that is um briefly what we have on the elasticity okay so let's check an example now Now look at this example, UTMA 1982, question 50, okay? In the question, we are given um, that 20 kilograms of force was applied to an elastic material, okay? And then the total length was 14. And then when 30 kilograms was applied, total length was 16, okay? So the question is now, we should find the unstretched length of that elastic material so basically what we do is when 20 kilogram was applied on that material the extension is going to be 14 minus l1 and when 30 kilogram was applied the extension is going to be 16 minus l1 okay so basically what we are saying is that before the mass was applied on that elastic material there was a particular extension or the particular length of that elastic material which is l1 but when 20 kilogram was applied on it the total length was 14. that total length entails the original length and the extension and same thing applicable to that 30 kilogram okay and that is the solution of the loop so from Hooke's um, law force is proportional to extension and f is equal to ke and if i make k the subject of formula i have k is equal to f over e and if i turn that one um a sequence or a series i'm going to have f1 over e1 is equal to f2 over e2 and as we all know that we have e1 and e2 in the question okay and f1 is m1 g1 same thing as the weight and f2 is m2 g2 so g we cancel g and then we have the other solutions there so thank you very much